Hello guys, hope you are well. This is Hanif and welcome to the Life to Coding channel. So today I am going to start a new tutorial series that is getting started with the Texas Instrument Launchpad Boards. Launchpad Boards are basically a development board and we will do some codings on that board to getting started with the micromodular things. To code on that board, we actually use the Code Composer Studio. In this tutorial, I will show you how to download Code Composer Studio and install it and we will configure it and run it. So let's see how to do that. Please do subscribe on my channel and click on the notification icon to get latest video updates. So first of all, how do you need to do? You need to search Code Composer Studio. Okay. And then we need to go to that Code Composer Studio. And after that we need to go to the download section of this website and from here as I am as I'm using Windows 10 64 bit and I would like to install it using the offline installer so I will download it and I would like to save it on my desktop So as you can see it has been downloaded so now we need to so you can see it is downloaded so we have downloaded the code composer studio 8.1 version and now we need to extract that okay so it has been extracted and then we need to go there and click the setup file here Okay, and then continue you need to accept the agreement next then select a folder like ti or ti cs something like that so i'm choosing the ti folder and next so um, here from here you need to choose your microcontroller or board that you are using so basically i'm using the tiva series ARM, con ARM controller actually so I will choose this option so and if you are using the MSP430 or other MCU you, you can select those but as I am using this module or this development board so I am choosing this and then you need to choose next and from here you can choose some other debuggers as well but these are the built-in ones so you need to check this one at least so and then after that click finish and click allow access and it will then install all the packages uh, for the Tiva C series basically what uh, uh, which micro I am using is that <coughs> I am using the Tiva launchpad so here if you go there or you can go to the wikipedia so here you can see so it is the m 4 f my controller and I'm using this series actually so and if you go to the images so it's the Tiva C series and there is a similar type okay and if you like just where is So yeah, you can see. So um, both are almost same. So uh, I will use this one or the Tiva C series on, and it will take some time to install all the things, and you need to wait for that to make it finish. So here you can see the installation has been done so and now i need to click finish and if you want to launch the code composer studio right now you can do that or you can create a desktop shortcut so code composer studio will now start and from here you need to choose your workspace from, on which you want to store all your programs and everything then click launch so 
and it will take you to the get, getting started page the main page and you can find many things in this page here you can find some videos on code composer studio you can find the example and documentation is in going to the resource explorer but now we want to create a new project so go to new project and from here you need to choose your board uh, in my case the board is TM4C1231H6PM so this one is the board and here from here you need to choose your connection so by default it is Stellaris or Tuba whatever it is you can find this thing so you need to choose this one then after that you need to give a name like I want to give it like blink blink one maybe or lesson one blink something like that blink then you need to create an empty project with main C something like that and click finish okay and if you do it like project explorer here you will click that and it will then give your project explorer here and your coding here and you can close it and as i have already created a uh, file so i have a demo project or demo code so i would like to use that code i'm just copying it so because i'm testing it so here here what i'm doing trying to do i would like to bring the pf3 one pf3 it is a green led and that is built on built in already in the in the board and here you can see i have included this header file but here you can see this is not included in our project folder so we need to find it out so here you can see this is the file we need to go to the folder from where we actually started or we set up the code composer studio so if we go to c and from here you can find ti and from here you can find that diva where c series and then you need to go inc and then here look at the name that is tm4c123 tm4c tm4c123 gh 6 pm so it is the name so the same name then you need to copy it and you need to go to your main folder project folder go to and you need to go there create a folder like inc or include whatever you want i'm just creating it like inc and then you need to paste it here and if you don't do that you will get some errors because this include file is not in the project cannot find it find this file because you are saying that it is in your file in your project folder so that's why i'm giving it a name like inc so if you rename the name you just need to rename it and give the proper location of the header file so that it can find the things and it is basically uh, okay no problem so it's basically all the things are defined in here all the things the input output of the project or the microcontroller the t is microcontroller is actually all the things are defined in here so whatever what we're using we're just including it so then so that we don't need to declare all the things and all the things are basically declared before and then we are just doing some delay we are just making the pf3 for output and then just giving some delay and running the code so and for this first you need to build the full project and you need to go to the main and you need to save the project okay i'm just so it is the main file and from here you need to click the build but because uh, whenever you click or you made some changes to your program or something like that you need to build it okay you need to build it 
so there is no problem there is no problem so it has been built and then now you need to click on debug So yeah, if everything is works, everything works, then you can see something like that. But it it is it is still not working or it is not run yet. So you need to create here resume. And if you click it here, you can see. So you can see it is now blinking at a speed, but we have to define the delay. So that's the way you can actually work on code composer history and run your first program. So that's it. See you in the next tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page and if you like this video please give us a thumbs up, hope this helps, thank you.